Ten runners lined up for the second race. And they're off as they break away in the Jebel Ali race course and stables, Anglesey two-year-old stakes group race over six furlongs. Well away, Barton Key now headed by Treasure Ryle. Close up third in the blue cap, Celtic Chieftain, followed by the cross-channel runner, Regal Gem. On this side is Babouche, and towards the inside is California Dreamer, and then Camille Pissarro, no return, Sir Yoshi, and bringing up the rear is Card of the County. Nicely spaced from first to last, and going along, about three clear is Treasure Isle from Stable Companion, Celtic Chieftain, just second from Barton Key. Babouche travels up on the outside as they pass halfway. Then California Dreamer and Regal Jim next with Camille Pissarro pushed along, no return. And then Sir Yoshi and Card of the County is struggling with two furlongs to go. Treasure Isle with a greatly reduced advantage with Babouche making ground on the outside of California Dreamer. Dropping back is Celtic Chieftain. Arriving there on the far side is Camille Pissarro racing towards the final furlong. And there's four abreast. Over on the far side is Camille Pissarro, who's come from rear division. Babouche on the near side will have to dig in. It's these two. Less than 100 yards to go, and it's Babouche with a fighting spirit to beat off Camille Pissarro and then Treasure Isle, followed in by California Dreamer. Rapid fire doubles, Colin Keane, your lines and judgment. Colin Keane getting all the congratulations after an opening. Our lines on Judmont, Babouche, they're very good again, well done. Yeah, uh, she, oh look, I didn't really go to plan it, so she got a little bit tight jumping the stalls, we ended up going left, and from then we just we kept it straight forward, we stayed out with a bit of clear room, uh, pacemaker brought us along and a good clip the whole way, and would a lot <coughs> would have liked them to bring us a little bit further, being honest, when she got there, she she didn't really know what to do and have a look, but uh, when we asked her, she, she dug deep for us, I thought, and got to lane well. She did against a battle hard rival as well, but just having a couple of strides to get organised when he joined you was a big help to her. Exactly, yeah. Um, like, when she got us, I just didn't know what was happening, but when she got herself together uh, and we got a couple of backhanders into her, she got to the lane nicely. Look, she's a, she, was a very, she was a very good winner on debut, uh, but at home she's gone the complete opposite since before mm -hmm. she as well, not turning hair. No, she's kind of like a pony, so she is. So we weren't sure what Babouche was going to turn up today, but she doesn't need to show us, show us at home every day of the week. But she was gone very relaxed, and even today she's very relaxed. But look, it's a great, it's a great complaint to have. Trip wise, is this the trip for the present or what? I think so. She's not a slow filly, uh, even though we were going along, she was very much in her comfort zone the whole way. Uh, I think six is a good fit for her for the moment. Sure, won't tell us which one's better, her or red letter. <laughs> I'll leave that to him. How good is she in the first? Oh, she's a, she's a nice filly. Uh, look, she bumped into a smart filly the first day, uh, but I, she's she's a filly that's I think very much next year is, is going to where you're going to see the best for. She's a big, probably still a little bit on the leg. Uh, how many more times this year this year? I'm not sure, but I'd say it's more so all about next year with her. Yeah, lovely prospects. Both of them, a other end of scale, moots ref and older horse. How has he been since Larkstone? He seems to be in great. Yeah. It look for a, for a group three or a group two. It looks a, a good opportunity for him if he turns up on his best day, which he has been this year. Ground won't be an issue. Trip and track he likes, so I'm hopeful of a big one. Serious notions we know about, but uh, an interesting no meets horse in the mile and a half. Captain Bay Gelded since we saw him last. Tony ran well to point here in heavy ground earlier in the year. Yeah, he's a hard horse. Own bits of ability uh, like that. Had a nice run here on, on ground, which was probably too gelded since. Uh, and I believe he's from school as well at home, and he jumps. Apparently, he jumps very well. So, if uh, if it doesn't work today, he could be going. Great stuff, well done again. Thanks, Ron. <laughs> Watch live racing now on RacingTV.com.